Hey, what's going on, fellow humans and resellers? This is I, James, RedoptionAgency.com. 22 freaking years selling on eBay. And I am... I am stopping videos. I'm done. I'm just... I am... I got no sleep last night. I'm just tired. I'm getting sick. <sighs> Pee Wee had two seizures yesterday. And now he's like a, a totally different dog. <sighs> had to clean up three spots, pee spots this morning. They look like mark and territory type of spots, just a little bit. He hasn't done that, so it's like, it, he's almost, it, he feels like a different dog uh, since that last one yesterday. This is a lot of freaking work. And then all night, um, every time I heard a noise, it woke me up thinking he's having another. A lot going on, I guess. So I figured if I take the videos out of it, at least there's less to worry about or think about or do. I can just ship and work and pay attention to him. I gotta go by the vet today. I'm gonna drop off a stool sample, see if he wants that to do anything with and see if he wants to up the dose on his meds again or what he wants to do. Because... He's like, oh, he, like after the big one yesterday, he was very like timid, like low key all day, all night. Wasn't his normal bounce around, run around self. And then this morning, he's not that either, but he's also, I don't know, it's just like a personality change this morning. I'm sure that affects their brains and stuff. So, I mean, that's where it originates from. So, I don't know. I'm just tired. So, I need to take some stuff off my plate, but uh, I can't take reselling off my plate, and I don't give up on animals. So, I have to give up on videos, I guess. I'm just tired, tired, tired. So, this is probably going to be the last one. Will it be forever? Probably not. At least for the foreseeable future until we get all this under control, I'm done. I really just want to go back to bed right now. Yeah, sore throat. Feel sick. Not as sick as the trolls on the... There's like one troll who makes a freaking new account every day just to comment on my video. I'm like, I wish I didn't have a life like... Or I, w I wish I had a life where I didn't have a life. <laughs> I guess maybe I just got myself in over my head with this puppy. But I don't give up on puppies, so especially one that's sick and it's not 100% his fault. So where'd my media sales go? I got a stack of stuff here and only two pieces of media. Oh, three, counting a record. I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't hear nothing. I'm guessing he laid down. He hasn't... He ain't at the top of the steps. He came down, 
marked a spot here, went upstairs, marked two spots there while I was cleaning this spot. I kicked him out of the house, <laughs> kicked him in the backyard for a while. Yes, I've said all I could say in the, all these videos anyway, so kind of. Kind of okay with not doing them anywhere. So. Maybe I'll come up with something new. I don't know. So how did the weekend go? Weekend was a freaking mess. Train wreck of a weekend. Like last year, Easter, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I did $3,200. Over $1,000 a day. This year, $720 on Friday, $571 on Saturday, $491 on Sunday. We are Monday morning, 8.20 a.m. I'm at $91. He's dead silent up there. I guess that means he's at least laying down. All right, we can go back and see what I did for the whole month. Yeah, let's see what I did for the month. <sighs> Hold on one sec, I gotta go get me, I'm gonna go get me a soda. I need to get something on my throat, it's so sore. And I drank all my water. Okay. Was that you? That wasn't you. What was that noise? Oh, it's probably those things. Let me go grab a drink. I'll be back. There she is. So if you guys have been watching me for a long time, I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me over this time. Totally appreciate it all. And, uh, oh, I mean, it's been awesome. More than I ever expected, honestly. All I'm doing is talking about something I enjoy doing and just sharing it and documenting it and if you noticed yesterday I changed the name of the channel too from my boring reseller life to the great reseller life it's almost like it was perfect timing to change the name Kind of, not just for the fact of, you know, changing my mindset and, you know, how I'm trying to get out of, you know, getting away from the, the negative part, which means less views, but it doesn't matter now anyway. But, uh, didn't matter really anyway, but the perfect thing about the name change yesterday is that it coincided perfectly, perfectly. With today the day before it ends what that means i don't know i'm just mumbling i think what i'm really trying to say is april freaking fools i'm not going anywhere 
no, 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 I'm not going anywhere. You are stuck with me. You are stuck with me. You are stuck with me. Me, me, me. Wish I had some pom-poms right now. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Da, 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 da. You are stuck with me. They're, they're weird. I can't, I can't do that. You are stuck with me, 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 me. I can't do that either. Hold on, what am I doing? You are stuck with me. You are stuck with me. You are stuck with me. Those are too odd to do. You are stuck with me, me, me. I was never a very good juggler. I taught myself, so I've never really learned. I just kind of did. I don't have nothing here to juggle. There's like nothing. That, that I have to have balls or something. <laughs> he said balls. No, I'm not going anywhere, but everything else I said was true, except the fact that I'm going somewhere. I'm not going nowhere. I am tired. I do have a sore throat. He has changed on this last seizure. He's laying in his favorite spot though, on a vent, the air conditioner's turned on. He can keep cool. I look like crap. It is, it is literally really frustrating though. I mean, yesterday I was going to take a bath since everybody was here. Then Jan took a bath. So I'm like, okay, I'll wait. Then started to go in after her. Alex decided to take one. And two people can with water's tankless water heater. It's no problem, but I go, okay, I'll wait. And then he had a seizure. Then I got sidetracked. I didn't get to take a bath last night. Didn't get to shave this crap off my face. I can't stand facial hair. It's just it's so irritating. It's so irritating. So that will come today when I find my center. No, but last night was so, like, every little noise pop up, check on him, where is he at? And I kept trying to get him next to the bed. So I slept in the bed beside, on his bed, their bed, beside my bed for a little bit last night. But he'd get up, walk, lay in his cold spots, cold floor spots. But, yeah, I'm tired, though, today. Definitely tired. But anyway... The Great Reseller Life. Or is it The Great Reseller Life? I'm waiting for the first comment. What do you mean you're a great reseller? You don't know what you're doing. All you sell is low dollar stuff. You've only been doing it for 22 years. You don't know what the hell you're doing. You're not a great reseller. The great reseller life. The great reseller life. Hi, my name's James. I am sleep deprived and slap happy. Do not mind me. This video may self destruct in 15 minutes. Revlon. I'm probably going to be all over the place today. So uh, just bear with me in my videos today. What are you doing throwing these things at me? <laughs> you goofball. You all right? <laughs> Another one? Another one, really? Hey. Pee -wee. I got a stack of these at the top of steps. He lays down at the top of steps. His paw hits one, comes rolling down. He just sent four down. Let me go grab them before he sends them down on top of Courtney. Oh, man. 
been kind of chaotic. Just a little, though. Just a little. All right, can we get to work, James? Good. I'm going to go by the vet today. Drop off a stool sample, see if he wants to do anything with that. See if he wants to up the dosage on the medication. Et cetera, et cetera. So. See what, what the next step's going to be. because He went 11 days with no seizure. Had one at... What time was it? I wrote it. I write them down. I keep a log. I don't remember. It's like maybe 6.30 this morning, yesterday morning. And then he had another one about 6.45 last night, somewhere in there. I could be off. But it was almost 12 hours exactly. That's only the second time he's had multiples in one day here. But I think after the last multiples, he went. that's when he went the 11 days. So hopefully I can get some rest <laughs> the next week or so but yeah i'm not going nowhere i'm just probably as dazed and confused as he is right now with the lack of sleep last night all right yeah so ebay was no it was and maybe a little the holiday had something to do with it this year but more you know i don't know I was going to say more and more people are less religious these days when it comes to Easter, but that's usually people who don't have the money for the most part. Mostly the people who have money are the conservatives or the middle age or the middle class, and most of them go to church and stuff. So who knows? It doesn't matter. Let's see, last month compared to last year. Dun, 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 dun. That's not really fair. Let's do the month before. There's been so many big issues on the site, it's hard to. Compare to last year, we know it's going to be down. All right, so let's see for March 2024, $18,306, up 4.2%. Selling costs 43.9, a little bit higher than I thought. Net sales $9,184 into me pocket, down 2.7%. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So, I kind of, oh, no, awesome. 10,000 a year a month. No more than like 9,000, but $100,000 a year for a kid who came from nothing. I ain't complaining about that. The only expense I have that's not life related anyway is my $700 in storage lockers. Everything else that we, everything else I pay with that money is bills anyway in life. So, you know, payroll and car and phones internet connection so not bad for a south city white boy i want south side on that biatch all right my top five items for the month all down except number one which tells me i made it up in other categories since i was up but yet my four of my top five are down so it tells me diversity kicked in this month so that's good to see number five men's t-shirts 607 680 dollars down 2.7 percent from the month before t-shirts supposed to be going up but i haven't put up much lately t-shirts number four video games 718 dollars up 37 percent Number three, cassette. Did I say down or up? It's down 37%. Cassette tapes, $1,510, down 8.5%. CDs, $3,083, down 5%. Uh, 
and men's hats, $4,020, up 29%. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So on track to do, what, 50-ish thousand dollars in hats again this year, I guess? Just compared to the one month, anyway. Time's in it. So, let's see. A few more yet. MLB up 22 Game video game consoles up 100%. Women's hats up 166%. Women's tops up 77%. Other formats up 14%. G women's jeans up 87%. Men's bags up 383%. So yeah, a lot of diversity this month. First question from questions and comments. Have you ever experienced a total drop-off in impressions? Since March 29th, the impressions for my store have dropped over 50% each day. And that is with them being promoted at minimum of 4%. Just like the store was shut off, only had one sale, 29th, 30th, and 31st, nothing. Just seeing if you have experienced a total shut off like that. I even did the old in cell similar and nothing. Huh. Since March 29th. Let me go check. Impressions. I don't really pay too much close attention to them, but uh, impressions. Why is it showing me February? Why'd that say? Oh, maybe I'm just reading it wrong. Uh, nope, my impressions stay the same. With what I'm promoting at now, they stay in between uh, usually about 850 to 9. No, hold on. Well, there's 800, 817, 795, 922. So between 800 and 950, well, there's 992. Between 800 and a million impressions. So, no huge drop off for me. That I can see. Words matter for sure. James. Dr. Marsu Impoto. Masari Impoto. I'm not sure. Sorry, I butchered that. Showing us how our body is affected by our thoughts, words, and feelings. Excellent choice, by the way. Yeah, I've always been that type of person, too, who believed, you know, what you put into the universe via thoughts, words, turns into actions and et cetera, et cetera. Almost the, you know, you, you uh, attract your vibe, basically, if you're good happy person all the time you're going to find yourself in happier situations if you're miserable and angry or whatever all the time you're going to find yourself in negative situations so yeah whether you want to believe it's universe energy or whether it's just your own personal energy because you're an ass or you're either happy either way you look at it whether it's some both neither whatever well it well, can't be neither but it's got to be one or the other or both yeah i've always been 100% that person. Like, the one thing that... I guess the biggest surprise for me is finding out about eBay and reselling. And just always having a positive attitude. I was going to find something that made me happy. And I wasn't going to be stuck with just being miserable. Like... Everybody around me always seemed like with their lives and their jobs and stuff. But even when it comes to like losing weight or anything, I mean, if you picture yourself the way you want to be, you will get there. Consciously and subconsciously, you will get there. So 100% believer in all that stuff. So, Yeah, that was an, another big 
thing about changing the name to the great reseller life is I've got to start just grasping all that again. Just, I feel like I've been through the most trauma for lack of a better word in the past, you know, from like 20, we'll call it 2014 to 2021. So about seven years of just constant, uh, struggles from, uh, the tax issues that we had with the old tax person. And then, so getting financially burdened on top of Jan's health issues, which was costing us money. Uh, then on top of then my brother dying, then moving my dad in and trying to figure all that situation out. And then, you know, dad dying. So I feel like those years were my most trauma years of my life all in one. And probably the most extreme I'll go through, at least I hope so, in a packed time period that I'm like, you know, I've got to change. I've got to start changing. Since I'm changing my thought process, I need to change the stuff around me also. Uh, I need to start caring more about myself, um, the words I use, et cetera, et cetera. So my boring just when I say that now, it puts me in that mindset of where I was. And I'm working my way out of that, so I had to change it. Plus, when I typed in great reseller on YouTube, like all the videos had tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of views. I'm like, ooh, this might help the channel grow too. <laughs> and it could possibly too, with just the mindset of, who wants to watch a boring reseller? Even though my content may still be boring, it's all about the I don't know, perception, I guess. Or what somebody said the other day. Somebody said something about the quality of the merchandise I sell that I choose. All right. I choose quality, I choose quantity over quality. And I'm like, what is quality? It's different from one person to another. Just because if you don't see quality in something, don't mean somebody else doesn't. Why should I limit myself to such a narrow word that was created by society? Do you think something that you think is quality in your life right now that somebody who's all Lamborghinis and Louis Vuitton is going to look at that same thing and say, that's quality? Phew, that's nothing. I got Louis. I got Lambos. You and your $60,000 SRT, that ain't quality. Get out of here. You know what I mean? Though, like, It's all about the perspective of the person, where the person's at, and what the person likes, and everything like that. So why limit yourself to the word quality? You've seen the stained hats I sell. Uh, it got shipped yesterday. I sold another nice one yesterday. It was nicely stained. To some, that is quality because that's what they like. You can't... It's hard to reproduce that without years of wear. That's... That's life. That's quality. Life is quality in my eyes, you know? No matter what you think the what's the word I'm looking for the man-made stuff the stuff that doesn't really matter at the end of the day the I I'm, I'm losing words again but why. Why limit yourself? Because society says so? Because society made up a word and they want you to believe it? I've never been one to live by any rules other than my own.
I'll always be a t-shirt person, but yet some people look down on people who wear t-shirts. That's not quality. This is quality, man. This is from like Target or something. It's Prince. Prince is quality music to me. So it's a quality shirt. So kiss my butt. You know what I mean? I mean, there's so many. Why limit yourself with life? Life is too grand. There's too much going on on this, even on this planet, not counting the universe as a whole. Why get stuck in a little society bubble? The rules and regulations and the 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 scorns of society. Oh, you are bad because kiss my butt. I don't. So it might give me cancer. I don't care right now. I got a sore throat, and right now this is quality lubricant on my on my sore throat. It may not be a quality product to be drinking right now. But it's quality lubricant on my throat, and that's pretty much all I got because I sucked down all my water bottles. So I got to fill them back up and put them back in the ice box because I can't drink tap water that's not ice cold. I just can't do it. It's the quality thing. Tap water is not really great quality, but if it's ice cold, cold, especially in a glass, like old orange juice, the old time orange. That's why I had growing up had the old time orange juice glass things. We'd fill it with tap water and put it in there. And drinking that water in the middle of summer with that cold glass and just, oh, so awesome. That's quality to me. <laughs> Why? Why limit yourself to anything? <clears throat> I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just going, I'm just, I'm just following what I'm talking about. There was a, a statement I think Tommy Lee made once, and it doesn't really quite play into this, but it kind of does in my eyes, is it was a debate on music, metal music, et cetera, et cetera. And back in the day, if you lived in the 80s and 90s, you knew that there was a situation where people who loved the harder music, the thrash music, et cetera, et cetera, thought that anybody else who, who if you you couldn't say you listen to slayer and you all also listen to poison that made you a poser you were faking it right and tommy lee once said and i remember from a video and it may or may not have gone something like this he said you can't be ah! all the time you gotta have moments of he and that's where he stopped but i'm adding to it you just gotta have moments of peace here then you got to have moments of experiences and just rocking out or just screaming or, you know. But you also got to have your time of hearing certain notes that send chills through your body, right? Who doesn't love when they hear somebody sing a certain song and they hit that certain note and it just fills your body with goosebumps? Who doesn't enjoy that? Why limit yourself just to one piece of what this life has to offer you saw me i will be the person with the louis vuitton hat because it was bought for me that cost seven or freaking dollars with a twenty dollar target t-shirt with jordans on that are probably worth that could be i have a pair that's probably worth about three thousand dollars with $3,000 Jordans on, a $700 hat, a $20 t-shirt, and shorts I found at the bins. Am I quality or am I not quality? You know what? It doesn't matter. I am James. That's what matters. Do you miss retail arbitrage, loading your truck with store closures and discount stores merch? I don't miss retail arbitrage per se. I miss I miss it when it comes to like clearance shoes, uh, clearance Lego. But like anything else, there was always like a higher risk. So I always had that little bit of anxiety. 
because you could really lose your ass with retail arbitrage pretty damn quick, especially because it depends on, okay, how many other people are going to be flooding eBay? And at the time I was doing it, Amazon with these same things. So the moment you buy it, it looks like you could profit 10 bucks on them. So you buy 20 of them, you get home by the time you get home and list them, you're only making five dollars so you could lose your ass pretty well. so i always had a lot of anxiety with retail arbitrage unless it was uh shoes and lego i thought i heard something in my i do miss uh just going out and buying by the load so i think i'm going to really push that this summer with yard sales i haven't made up a flyer yet but i'm really going to push hey if you got any kind of collection at all of anything you're selling or you want to get out of, you don't want anymore, let me know. T-shirts, music, vinyl, cassette tapes, eight track tapes, freaking toys, anything you collect that you got a collection of, I'd be interested in buying it for the right price. So I'm going to really push that to get that uh, going this summer with yard sales. See if I can turn a, just a yard sale into something bigger. So that's my goal with yard sales this summer. And that don't, that may just be going, you want to close up early? How much you want for everything? Depending if, if you find a good yard sale. Like the one I went to last summer, I wish I would have did. They had boxes and boxes of clothes. And I like filled a bag for like five bucks or something. But I didn't even go through all of them. I should have just said, how much you just want? I'll just load all the boxes up in the car. And I could have went through them here because I'm probably, I probably left something behind. Because I have, you know, I have charity pickups that come to the house. So anything that's not worth anything, I can just throw it in the box and they come and get it. So it's easy for me to get rid of. So nice name change. Thank you. That's a beautiful picture. That is the my th banner which is the same spot here when it was a little bit different and always got to have that chubby checker record in that picture that was my mom's so. Uh, the music to my work with me video yesterday. Poor Pee Wee, I wish those seizures would go away. Yeah, I would too. Is he still up top? No, I guess he went back to his spot. As he's not coming down, see, like he's not following me around today, like he did, like he has every other day before. He's totally different dog today. Will that change by this evening? Possibly. My stomach is growling. So it's kind of odd. I hope it he, he comes back around. Because marking, marking territory in the house, that's nothing he's done. Not following me is nothing he's done. If that makes sense. So I don't know. It's kind of odd. Look into the CBD edibles. Jan's been reading about it. You know, she's a pharmacist. So she's been reading about it, and she's not sold on it at all. So if she's not going to be sold on it, I'm. She. It's not going to happen. She's the pharmacist, so unless the vet says to do it, which he's not behind it either, because he says there's not enough. Uh, Thing. The thing that Jan read this morning about it, something about it can hurt your liver or something, but I, I don't know. The thing about Jan, though, is that it's not her idea. She'll find more ways of it not working than working. I don't know why she's like that, but that's just the way she is. So Until it's her idea or the vet's idea, it's probably not going to happen. I mean, if it comes down to it and there's a last resort, I'll do it. So. 
the video and the music. You what use square photos? Thanks. Yeah, I use the phone eBay app one by one when I take the pictures. All right, let's get some stuff shipped because I got to get to the go by the vet office. Also, I think I got everything pulled. No, I don't. I skipped right over that, didn't I? F3. Now I think I got it all. Pressure shipping my balls. We got the UK, another UK, Australia, Canada. Number, why am I, I turned it off. I told you I'm not all with it today. Number one, number one on the list. No. Uh, we've got these New Balance sneakers that sold, sold for eight bucks. Been in the store for quite a while. Headed to New Jersey. It's been a weekend. One eleven. Do 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 do. By the paid standard. We've got Chris Mills CD. Sold for eighteen eighteen. Headed to Ann Arbor, Michigan. I am. Guys, I have to go pick up some more. Oh, do -do 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 -do. Why is that marked at ten ounces by automatically? That's weird. Buyer paid zero for promotional economy shipping. Wait, what? Well, how did the buyer pay zero for shipping? Hold on a minute, I'm confused right now. Oh, he bought two of them. That's why. I'm glad I noticed that because I did not notice that he bought two. This should really highlight that number somehow. Let me go grab that B72. I need light. Give me light.
So it's 18 18 for two. And since he bought two, he gets free shipping. Now it all makes sense. Let's try that again. Seven. Next up, we've got a women's Harley Davidson hat. Sold for 12 bucks, headed to Shawnee, Oklahoma. Shawnee. That might be where some of my uh, ancestry lies. I think that's Osage. For some reason, I'm thinking that's Osage Nation there, Shawnee. I could be wrong. When I found out I was figure when I was finally told that what my native was Osage, I did, was you know read some stuff about it, so that's why I think it's like looks familiar to me. I could be wrong. Could be another reason. Up, we got Ed, Edgar Winter cassette tape. So for six bucks, headed to Lubbock, Texas. Texas, Texas, Texas. Uh -uh. I'm blind in Texas. Lone Star is hot tonight. I can say the kind of the whole mindset I was trying to change, or I am changing. And then with the name of the channel and stuff. Uh, let's see, we got this Jim Reeves vinyl. So for $7, headed to Wyoming. It's like I am. Even though I didn't feel like I had any limitations with the my boring reseller life thing it did feel limited but now my mind's not feeling limited i guess maybe that's the way that's the difference so who knows what can pop up on this channel that i will do but what i don't I don't know what I could tape that I haven't taped before that I do. <laughs> but maybe I'll try something new. Random. Have new thoughts on how to splice together something. Of course, I'm not editing because that still takes way too long. Uh, Arizona Bitmore hat. Yeah. Headed to Kansas City, Missouri, sold for fourteen forty. I'm gonna try to get him outside to play today and see if I can get that old Pee Wee back today. Lots of loves today and see if that'll help bring him back around. Backwoods beer cooler. Sure. Sold for 10 bucks, headed to Hackettstown, New Jersey.
yesterday I was just doing a lot of like, wasn't doing much work. I was just scouring the internet and just looking at different things. See if I can conjure up any new thoughts or ideas and different things like that. And I forgot to pull that one too. Shelf 10, Jack Dupree, Walking the Blues, Greatest Hits. Champion Jack Dupree. I was, I had, um, I sold for five dollars. I had come across, uh, some sports cards, so I'm like, so I started going down the rabbit hole on how people are making money on the sport, low dollar sports cards and stuff. So I saw that the Burbank sports place or whatever they have like two million cards on ebay i'm just looking at all that i'm like yeah this is something i don't want to get into <laughs> i could list a lot quick but you know what else i can list a lot quick and make more money on cds cassettes and i have a lot more of those personally so i'm like yeah that's a road i'm not going down so i think what i'm going to do with the ones because I, I got a good amount i think i'm going to separate them by teams and maybe just do like 10 for 10 type of thing i'll try that so netta dog out of kansas city uh headed up to independence missouri sold for 25 dollars. i bought this when i bought the street side records out in kansas city and cleaned them out this was up there. I think I got one more listed, maybe. And probably more in storage. It's a local person up that was up there. Their item. Headed back that direction. Charles. Next up, we've got uh, that Revlon hair dryer, curler, dryer, dryer, curler, just a dryer. Headed to Hampton, Virginia, sold for $13. I'm just going to put a couple of these together. Let's see if that'll be enough room. Just barely.
Stomach's just being all kinds of noisy today. Next up, we got a St. Louis Cardinals shot glass. Sold for $7, headed to Mankato, Michigan. Next up, we've got this Mark McGuire limited edition photo headed up to Kansas, sold for $3.50. See a lot of just different stuff today. Got this uh, Porter cable bag. Sold for twenty dollars. Headed to West Virginia. US one, we've got again Christmas item, got some plush, a lot of four snowmen, just different decor snowmen. Plushy plush, sold for 15 bucks, headed to Drummond's, Tennessee. I 
I'm gonna see if any of these internationals can be weighed till later today, because. Yeah. I'll show you what's sold, but I'm gonna do this international stuff later. Don't have to go out till tomorrow anyway. I'm just tired. I gotta get to the post office and get to the the vet. Stinks about not having them by me. I have to. I'm worried about them. The doorbell's ringing. I'll show these in tonight's video. I'll make it the video, so I'm gonna go see who's at the door. So thanks everybody for hanging out, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Later.